Today on the Vinnie Langdon Show, on the line, we have Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein, or is it Frankenstein? <laughs> Doyle, what's up, man? Nothing. What's going on, man? Ah, uh, just a, a nice day outside, just hanging out. So, well, we have a few minutes, so we're going to jump right in. Tonight, you're uh, on the road right now to Virginia, currently on the Abominate the World Tour, promoting your up-and-coming album, As We Die. And uh, let my viewers know a little bit about this record. Okay. Um, it's uh, Doyle 2, like Queen 2, or Zeppelin 2, or Dancy 2, or Van Halen 2, or Sukhalad 2. Um, as we die, and it's 13 songs. It comes out on the EMP label, owned by David Ellison of Megadeth on May 5th. Awesome, awesome. And it features some guests. Uh, yeah. Arch Angel, Lamb of God. Tell Arch us a little Angel. bit about that. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. We asked them to do it, and they were like, yeah. And I <laughs> right on. So when you were in the studio, is it true that also you had, you know, plenty of material that could also go on another record? Um, We have like about... Ten songs that was working on for now. Yeah, awesome. That's great. Yeah, well, like I said, you know, you've been on the road for, you know, a couple of weeks now, and what has been your favorite moment or moments on this tour so far? The favorite moment is going to bed every night. Going to bed. Gotta love that part, right? <laughs> Gotta wake well, down. Oh, <clears throat> You know, some of the listeners that are tuning in on the Vinny Langdon show today, they know you from joining the Misfits back in 1980 when you were just 16 years old. But what I'd like to know is, you know, before the Misfits, you know, you were born in Lodi, New Jersey, and growing up, when was the first time that you picked up an instrument? Um, 1978. 1978. Picked it up. And was it a guitar? Yes, it was. Awesome. All right. Well, I dig your hairstyle, and uh, I'll admit that I even, at one time in my life, tried doing the Doyle do a few times, but it just never looked uh, right on me. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. It's a hard one. Yeah. Has a fan ever tried to mess it up during a live show or a meet and greet? That would be a mistake. That would be a mistake. Do not mess with Doyle's hair. Just like uh, how John Stamos says on Full House, don't touch the hair, right? <laughs> Well, one of your fans wanted me to ask you, for Halloween, they're planning to dress up as you, and uh, what's the best makeup that you recommend to them? Clown makeup. Clown makeup. There you go. That, that always works. And soon you'll, be, yeah. soon you'll be starring in a feature film called Death Ward 13, and what is the status of that production? I have no idea. All I got was the contract to sign. I have no script. I don't know when we're shooting it. Yeah. I don't know character. I don't know anything. Don't know anything. Just got to wait and find out, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, from one from one actor to another actor, the upcoming actor, do you think that, do you see yourself as a good actor? I mean, do you think that you could do a good speech at the Academy Awards if you end up winning an, an Academy? <coughs> Excuse me, I could do a good speech. Acting, I don't know. We'll see. Nice. Yeah, on-camera acting is uh, very different compared to, you know, doing live shows, so we'll see what happens. And was acting something you always wanted to do, or if they just approached you and said, hey, we want Doyle in our movie? Uh, yeah, well, that, 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 that's what happened, but, you know, I would like to try, you know, to do it. It would be awesome. You know, I've been in a few movies, and I know it's like being on the set, sitting around all fucking days. <laughs> you know, and, and, like making a fucking break. Reunion. Exactly. Yep, it's a long process, but you know, I'll tell you what, it is fun. Nothing, nothing beats it when you see the final product. It's definitely rewarding. And uh, speaking of rewarding, uh, you know, last year we saw you perform some reunion shows with the Misfits. And what were you surprised by the most with uh, doing those shows? Uh, the choice of venue. Yeah. Would you pick a different venue, or was that perfect? Yeah, I thought it was, yeah, I would have picked Wacken. I don't, I don't think that was the right choice. Gotcha. And, and you just got back from being over in Europe, playing shows in Netherlands and Italy and Germany and even Austria. And was there one town that sticks out to you of a venue that you'll never forget over there? No. 
No, they were all pretty good, huh? Yeah. Awesome. And when you were touring overseas, I know you're you're usually urged to go and do some sightseeing. And did you go to any places that you always wanted to go to outside of playing shows? No. Well, hey, if anyone wants to go support Doyle currently on the Abominate the World Tour 2017, I highly suggest you go do it. Look out for his new record, As We Die, May 5th, coming out. And I know it's going to scream awesomeness. And people can visit officialdoyle.com for tour dates, music, and a whole lot more. Doyle, good luck for the rest of your tour. And uh, we'll see you later, man. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Thank you.